Hello guys and welcome. Today we will be talking about another thread synchronization primitive which is mutex. We saw in our previous video how we can use semaphore to allow multiple threads to enter into a critical section and with mutex the mutex can be used to synchronize threads across multiple processes. That means we can use, we can create a mutex in one process and we can use it in another process. We are talking about multiple processes. And that's the main advantage of a mutex. Mutex can be used locally also, that means inside one process and then it behaves exactly like a lock and it it's even heavier I mean it's it has certain overhead associated with it because mutex is a kernel mode construct then there is a lot of transition happens from user mode to kernel mode and back and forth so it's a little bit slower should be slower than a lock so in today's demo we will first look at how we can use it in process that means locally so let's get started. So the mutex lives in system.threading namespace and we can create a mutex by using one of the constructors. There are five constructors, overloaded constructors, default constructor and some others which takes different parameters. To test or to use a mutex locally we will be creating a the mutex with default constructor. Then we will create our threads, thread array of threads, threads equals to new threads and let's use 10 threads. Then we will be creating these threads. by looping as we have done it several times and then we will call our enter club method and then just we just we starting and then joining here we will start our threads and we will pass the mutex which we have created above mutex and then we will the main thread we will let the main thread join these threads or these threads will join main thread by calling join on them so they will be joining the main thread and we are done here so we write all done just to see and then we just wait until we hit enter like this here we can say joining and here we are starting threads I think that's it. Yeah, we really, we forgot. When we enter, when a thread comes into enter club, it has to wait. So mutex mutex equals to a r g as mutex. We have to wait until it's available. Wait one. And then it does its job and then when it's finished it just releases the law the mutex simple it's it's almost like a lock if you had we had taken lock here it was just lock and now we can run we are ready to run yes let's see
come on no there are some build errors what was the error do not copy and unable to do this okay let me see Let me clean my solution. Clean runway zero fail, and now if we run it again, yeah. If you see three arrived and waiting, three entered, and all the others are arrived and waiting, then three should exit first. Ten got entered, ten exit, nine got entered, and so on and so forth. So this is behaving exactly like a lock. all done and this is actually what you can do with a mutex how you can use a mutex inside a process to use it across multiple processes what then we can use and we will be using we will be creating an example where we can detect whether an instance of an application is already running or not and then for that matter we will be creating our mutex and then we will use another overloaded constructor which takes three parameters we will be using this one initially owned we will is no we are not owning it initially and then we will be we will be giving it a name you can say mutex underscore club for example and then out bool variable created new and then we can have this declare it above bool like this and then we can check if created new then we can write this is the first instance of our application if not then we can write application is already running application is all ready running and then we can go delete all this now we are not using this let's see then this is the first instance of our application okay and um, generally you would like to actually exit if it's running then you just do return but we will not be doing return because we want to see this output so let's go we don't need this one then if you go to our debug folder and start our exe demo trading this is the first one this is the first instance of our application like this and if i start another one application is already running if i start another one application is already running okay so that's the that's the way how we can detect whether an application is running or not or you can <coughs> you can force that only one instance of your application should run at a time so that's it actually about mutex 
so we have covered mutex and mutex just point to remember with mutex is that whenever you need to to create critical sections or if you want to synchronize your threads across multiple processes then you can use the mutex otherwise there are uh, you can take log you can use monitor dot enter you can use some other primitives so i i hope you learn something or you like something about this video if you have any question or suggestion please do write into the comment section and until the next video be happy be safe and goodbye